Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and if it's your first time, I hope you like what you see and subscribe. It's time for a review video and if there's one piece of fishing gear that I could do a solid review on, it's on the Waterwolf underwater camera. But before we do the review, let's give a quick shout out to Frank and Chris over at the Ugly Pike Podcast. These guys are hardcore musky anglers and they have dozens of episodes on a wide range of topics. Their guests include everyone from the weekend warrior to numerous legends in the sport. On a recent nine-hour road trip, I tuned into the podcast, and before I knew it, I was there. I also just did an episode with Frank and Chris on the musky fishery in the St. John River. So if you're looking for some great stories and information that will definitely up your game, check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's time well spent. Now, back to the review. I first purchased the Waterwolf about three years ago, and have used it a little bit for casting, but I've also recorded hundreds of hours on it while trolling. The one I bought this year was about $250 Canadian, including shipping and taxes, so they're not cheap. I've got them hung up a few times, and unless you're in structure-free water, be prepared to run the risk of losing one. I don't recommend this, but I've been snagged a few times and have dived in after them. I know, you'd think at my age I'd be a little wiser, but apparently not. So what do you get for your money? There's the camera, some instructions, USB cable. This is the camera mount that goes on your line. There's also a universal filming mount, a bank stick converter, EFA float, a little tool to take the cap off the front of the camera, a lens protector, and finally, three weights from nine to 15 grams. Some of the camera features are, it has approximately four hours of record time with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card that is not included. The video format records in 720p at 30 frames per second. I would prefer to record at 1080p at 60 frames per second, but suspect that this would reduce the record time, so we'll have to live with it. But if you're listening, Waterwolf, it would be ideal to have the better quality video and four hours of record time. Something for you guys to work on for version 1.2. One more thing about the video, the quality is very dependent on water clarity and light. The depth you're running it will also have an effect. The deeper you go, the less light penetration, which equals poor quality video. Another nice option is the video records in 10 minute segments. That way, if there's a corrupt file, it doesn't ruin all of your footage. You can cast with it up to 120 feet, but use caution when chucking big baits. I believe I broke two cameras from the shock of throwing them too far. The camera is also waterproof to 120 meters. And finally, I found the construction of the Water Wolf pretty solid. I've never had any issues with it breaking from being beat over rocks or getting snagged. The lens remains scratch free and it's even survived several musky attacks. When rigging up the camera, I use two different setups. The first is when I'm chasing musky with big erratic baits like this Thirsty Lure. I attach it with about a 20 inch, 150 pound test fluorocarbon leader and a 40 pound loop knot, that is the weak link. That way, if you get snagged, the knot will break and you can retrieve the camera. In order to prevent the camera from rocking and making the footage hard to watch, I use the Waterwolf vertical fishing mount that has planes on either side. This provides the stability, but creates a hydroplane effect that prevents the bait from diving. To counter this, just add three or four ounces of weight to the front of the setup and attach it to your main line with a weed guard. If you're in water that has a lot of debris, add a three foot leader with the weed guard to keep the bait and camera unobstructed. My other setup is when I'm running baits that have a tight action that don't cause the camera to rock. I still use about a 20 inch leader as I find that this usually keeps the bait in the center of the shot and close enough to get some good footage of the fish. If I'm chasing musky, it's a 150 pound fluorocarbon leader with the weak link. But if it's other species, I'll just run 25 pound fluoro. 
I use the camera mount that comes with the water wolf and attach the rig to the main line with the weed guard. Again, if you're in water that has a lot of debris, add a three foot leader with the weed guard to keep the bait and camera unobstructed. Overall, I'd have to say I'm very satisfied with the performance and durability of the water wolf. It is extra work and additional cost to my fishing adventures, but has provided a unique perspective to my videos that is seldom seen. There's been lots of great entertainment and education over the last few years, and if you've enjoyed it, stay tuned because there's more on the way. Thank you.